Even though I wasn't a fan of part one, I did promise you guys that I would do a video on chapter two and three of Aquaman King of Atlantis on HBO Max because, you know, like I said, if you watch my video on chapter one, if you haven't already, definitely check that out. You know, I wasn't a big fan of this show and I mean, it is a show meant for kids, so I understand a lot of the choices that were made with this show, but I'm still just not a big fan of it. But like I said, promised you I'd still do a video on it. So. Here we are. So today we're talking about Aquaman King of Atlantis Chapter 2 Primordius, which honestly, in my opinion, is definitely a better episode than Chapter 1. I mean, still not great. Still a lot of the stuff in this episode that I wasn't a fan of in the first one, but there are some improvements, um, some other stuff that's added in here that we're going to go ahead and do a little quick recap and breakdown of everything that happened in this episode. So of course, spoiler warning, all that good stuff. Let me know your own thoughts and opinions in the comments below. But anyways, so we start off this episode following up after the cliffhanger of episode one, where now Ocean Master has taken over the throne of Atlantis and become the new king once again. Now, this is one thing I was a little disappointed in because, like I said, that was the cliffhanger. That was supposed to be the big setup in the last episode to set up for some, like a big role in this episode. And then literally like five seconds into the episode, Aquaman defeats Ocean Master and he becomes king again. Like it was just super easy. But of course he factors back into the episode because then Ocean Master steals his trident. And then Ocean Master ends up getting kidnapped by himself by the fisherman. And then, then we get something a little interesting here where... Aquaman sings so I already thought the show was weird with first episode but then we start singing and if I'm being honest honestly not even a bad song um but again just gives me all those Spongebob vibes um and the whole song was about talking to the fish that's actually what it's called talking to the fish and again honestly it wasn't even a bad song it's actually kind of stuck in my head and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing but anyway Aquaman sings about talking to the fish and then they he and Mira go on this hunt to find the fisherman until they find him and turns out he's actually now become Primordius which of course relates back to the title of the episode and of course Aquaman ends up defeating Primordius and gets his trident back but this is where things get interesting here because when they defeat Primordius first of all it's revealed that he's actually like part of like a sentient island or something so they go inside like a cave on this island and they find this pink crystal which of course they take back to Atlantis and most likely relates back to the blue crystal we found in episode one and this is one of the things that's set up for here um in the final part that I'm wondering about and I'm excited to see what's going on here if there's going to be any other crystals that they find so far we've got a pink one and a blue one what are they for are they like do they have like special powers I'm not completely sure, but we're definitely going to find out. And we've also got some more threats re-emerging here, as in the final scene of this episode, we have Mordecon, or Mordecom, the main villain of the first episode, and Ocean Master talking in prison, basically deciding they're going to team up to break out and try and defeat Aquaman. So that's going to be our big thing in episode three or chapter three which is going to be the final episode because it's just a limited mini series uh it's the three-part trilogy event so honestly i'm interested to see where it goes again you got that set up with the crystals and now the villains come back which i wasn't a fan of that uh mordecai in the front in the first episode but i'm excited to see ocean master back even though i'm not a big fan of this version of ocean master i mean at least he's an actual classic aquaman villain i wish we saw characters like black manta in this in this show i think that would be awesome but you know uh, i'll deal with black uh with uh ocean master and more to come for now but uh guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what do you think about aquaman king of atlantis chapter 2 primordius there's again definitely some interesting stuff set up here in episode 2 for episode 3 and i'm excited to see where that goes but guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it a date on everything goes on in the DC life.